hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is a mod thing my name is mod to saint como today we have a haul a video haul <laughs> if you've been following me you know that i do fragrances uh, i do arts and a lot of other things <laughs> also like it's hard to keep track but in any case today I have a shoe haul video and I thought it was interesting. I seriously don't know if I can count how many <laughs> new shoes I've bought between maybe the holiday seasons and now. But today I want to focus on the more high end designer side of things just because since we put our coins on those, hearing a review of them, whether they're comfortable, how I've experienced them, is probably going to be better for your pocketbook. <laughs> Should you be looking into videos to know about those shoes? I think I have no less than five new Louboutin <laughs> addition to my shoe collection. I mean, I started with one Louboutin, I, I think maybe a year ago. Somehow I cannot stop. <laughs> I wanted different colors. I wanted different style. I have been adding some Louboutin shoes in my collection and I want to let you know what I think about them. What I got was the Pigai. And I... I was pleasantly surprised with the Pigai. I thought the So Kate was the sexiest, but I thought the patent leather Pigai did the trick. And it was more comfortable than the So Kate at the time because it was bigger somehow here. And I got a 40 and a half in it which I regret. Somehow the 41 was too big. The 40 was too small. I ended up with 40 and a half. But this one probably would give me one hour before it started hurting me <laughs> or two hours. And perhaps I should have gotten the 41 and just used some padding. We really loved it. So that's the pig eye. That was the first one that I got. And I wanted one that was more like for work. So I got what they call the apostrophe. And it came maybe a year or two ago. Okay, the apostrophe. So the difference is the apostrophe. You can start seeing the red on the side even. So I've worn this to a wedding this summer. The first day I used I wore it, of course, I ended up scratching it unfortunately but i thought i was i can get that fixed by a cobbler it's not a problem but that's after just one wear guys this is what i got and i was like oh my god you actually can have louboutin shoes that are very comfortable and i find even those are comfortable and the secret to the comfort is because although it's skinny but something about the construction of the shoes is so strong that it end up being stable in your feet in that way they're comfortable but this one i was just so happy to see how comfortable it is i was dancing with it for hours at some point i had to remove it put it under the table and then take a little break for a minute <laughs> and then continue dancing but anyway i thought that was a very good purchase and then, so then I proceeded to go to Orlando. They have a mall there, mall at the Millennia. You've probably seen some of my vlogs where 
I've taken you shopping there, but I've not really revealed the shoes that I've purchased there. Today is, in a way, a revealing. And I actually have the shoes that I purchased in Orlando, just in some, in the regular bags. Because when I was transporting them to the other state where I am, the bags was too much, so I had to leave the bags at my mom's house. So I just have the shoes. I haven't even worn the shoes that I bought around Christmas time in Orlando. I did a kit. I was very surprised to see I could go with a kit. The kit was very comfortable. When, but what worked for me was a 41 and a half. I think this one is 40. 40 and a half. This one is a 41 and a half and it's way more comfortable than the 40 and a half. Like I say, buying a 40 and a half was really a bit of a regret. So the four, I got the 41 and a half. I seriously was tempted to get the 41 because this felt a little bit big in my feet. But because of my experience with the first one, I decided to do 41 and a half and to just have some padding maybe here. And here so I haven't worn it yet and it was very comfortable so I was happy to to have that I've always wanted a white a white one in those because I think they look very nice if you have a white outfit on like a white suit for a summer wedding of sorts want to go all white to an all white party it's my white kit and it's very comfortable very comfortable. So when after I bought the white one, now I saw I had the black one and then I had the nude. And I had the white. As you can see, guys, the idea is not to buy tons of black Louboutins. I was, I'm trying to shoe collection, but that's really different that I can use for different occasion. The time when I bought the white kit, I decided to buy those sandals. And those are 40, actually. Maybe because they're sandals, it was the 40 that worked for me. I bought it because these are so versatile. You can be dressed up and down. That those were sandals because I've been seeing them and I know they are so versatile that I knew that was on my list to purchase. So I'm really glad I purchased them and they are very, very comfortable. And even the side here, I tend to have problem with those. But something about the leather, it's soft and it's good quality. It doesn't hurt. I might just try it for you to see how it looks like. All right, you are the Ruby girls. Literally, this is one of the most comfortable sandals I've ever put on. Just unbelievable. I don't know if after a while some stuff will start pinching, but seriously, these are seriously comfortable sandals. And also versatile. These are totally party sandals that can be worn with anything. Luby girl those sandals are called Luby girl and they are so versatile I definitely wanted to add some sandals and these were the most classic and most versatile I have to say of all my Louboutin shoes these are the most comfortable I've ever seen like it blows my mind that you can have those shoes and they're so comfortable so they're white 
and I thought like it was different enough from this white one and then I like the sparkly thing the sparking things and the good thing is these are not sharp <laughs> They're not sharp, but they add a bit of a little rock and rollish and attitude to those traditional sling bag back. And the heel somehow is perfect. When I try those, so they they are ten and a half. They didn't and forty and forty and a half. I just couldn't believe how comfortable these were. And that was the first Louboutin shoes I had ever bought that was on sale. Um, so they were originally $9.95. And I got them for $4.87. So I was like, wow, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and went to a store to get something completely different. And since I'm usually a size 10, I'm, I, I just went there and... I was just looking, and so this is at Saks Fifth Avenue off, I think basically yesterday, <laughs> and what do I see? Those hot cheeks. On sale for like 45% off. So originally I bought seven ninety five for four thirty two, and I've really always wanted one of those hot cheeks, but I didn't want to pay full price for them. Um, I think they would be just really, really nice with jeans, skinny jeans on summer. Of course, it's totally it's different. Even this is not exactly matching this one in terms of the pattern. So obviously each of the pattern is different. It just have such cool pattern. And I like the fact that the background is black. So it, it keeps it still simple and nice. So you have the tons of hot cheeks. Pictures in here with hot cheek things with our cheeks movements. Not sure if you can make all those design out. So that's my latest one. I'll try it on for you guys to see. those are those mesh sandals the first time i saw them i thought they were silly <laughs> because they are so square and so forth but this color is a color that i like so much and i'll tell you a story about it the first sandals i bought were a sort of inspiration <laughs> of the real one okay and it's by gianni bini so these are the, and this is the inspiration, <laughs> okay. And this color is a Veda green color. And that, that's the most popular color in the Bottega Send, mesh sandals. So anyway, the, so this is clearly an inspiration, but you can see some difference. This has some bend here. Yeah, the inspiration has those bend that make the shoes hold a little bit better or more. Then this one, which is really just the mesh, it doesn't have anything. And then, of course, the bottom of the inspiration is also different from the real one, which is that, that, that's the real one. Other than that, they have the same feel. And from far, you may not know that I'm not wearing a Bottega. But I had so much fun wearing this one when I bought it, and I was getting so many compliments that I decided that 
I was going to get those, but I decided to get those. And I can show you some pictures of how I rock them. They're just really, really fun. We have two more. Those. <laughs> I totally fell for those. These are by Charles Davis, but I've always wanted those sandals that have all this drama to them. I have seen those sandals. They're by Jimmy Choo, Choo and they're about maybe $900. Really like them. And I couldn't believe that I found those and they're by Charles Davis at Nostrum Rock. So that's like 54% saving. They're like, like 199, but I got them for $89. And they're essentially the same idea. The same idea of shoes. These are like, these are open sandals, but the same idea. Ever since I saw those by Jimmy Chuchu, I know I wanted something that has me back. So when I found this, I was like, ooh, how cool. So I wore this for my birthday, actually. This is like so skinny. I cannot say that I didn't feel some pain from this. But it's just because, you know, I just have one little corner of my toe, you know, of my feet that somehow is very sensitive. But they were really nice, but this is so skinny obviously compared to the Luby the Luby girl the Luby girl has you know is a little bit bigger stripes but seriously it's like I had planned to wear this for my birthday but I decided oh my god I'm just going to wear this instead because they're even more dramatic than this but unfortunately they're beautiful but they did hurt a little bit, <laughs> but I really enjoy wearing them. Really, really enjoy the drama and everything. <laughs> Here are my Charles Davies. I just love how fun those sandals are. The height is perfect, it's just this one stripe that somehow where it gets on my feet. And she's one little spot. And after a while we can get on the other one. But the height is perfect. And these are some superbly cool symbols. Totally enjoy the drama. Last but not least in my shoe haul, these are sandals by Gucci. And I'm not sure if it's a... <laughs> I think I'm going to have a video on luxury regrets. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a regret or not. But when I purchased them, I felt that sometimes when you go on vacation or on summer, you want like some flat, but that's a little bit fancier. So this is because of the nice shiny buckle. I've worn them when I went on vacation, not too long ago. But I always wonder if flat in those designers are worth the price. I hope you have an idea of my experience with those shoes, what I found comfortable and whatnot. And in some cases, I've even shown you some pictures of what, of how I've styled them so far, the ones I've worn, what they look like. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. Until next time, bye.